Rugby under the lights on a Friday night is always popular and at Netherdale, Gala and Selkirk will be locking horns for the first time in over five years because of the fact that they're in separate divisions in the National League. So this is quite a rare outing for the two local clubs and one that's bound to be fiercely contested. For Gala's Ben Gill, this will be his first experience against his near neighbours. Um, I'm excited. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a physical game probably knocking 10 bells at each other <laughs> and come next week we'll all be shaking hands and having a laugh about it so now nah, I'm excited. And it's great to see the Border League back to what it used to be, everyone playing each other. You know these are games that we love getting in and stuck into you know border border derbies, like, it doesn't get much better than that. Peebles will host Melrose tonight at the Geits, they very nearly beat Gala last time out and they're up for the challenge against the team whose head coach was at Peebles this time last year. On Thursday at Kelso, the South of Scotland squad came together for the first time ahead of the Inter-District Championship, which begins on March the 23rd. Last year, the South were pipped at the post by Caledonia Reds, and head coach Matty Douglas has some unfinished business. I, I feel we have got a little bit of unfinished business, but the, when you see every district this year, they're taking it really seriously. and. We're not sitting here and training thinking that we just have to turn up and win. This has got to be really tough. We've got two tough away trips and um, the, there's definitely a hunger to, to try and win You know what is the first full inter-district championship. When you see some of the star players from Hoyk, Melrose, Selkirk, Gala, Jed Forest and Kelso coming together, you get a sense of how strong this area is right now. And March the 23rd can't come soon enough when Edinburgh hosts the South at Musselburgh. Stuart Cameron... ITV News.